never felt contested. People were questioning your authority. People were mocking your position. They don't take you seriously. Well, here is the solution and the answer to resolve that conflictual problem. You see, Moses experienced the same thing. You see, the people of all the other tribes began to speak to Moses. Who are you that you should lead us? Who are you that we should listen to you? All the other tribes began to contest Moses. And here's God's response to the people. They said, okay, you think you're so big, bad, and tough? Everybody gather the rod, the staff of each head of the tribe. So here in number 17, we see the story. They go and gather the 12 rods that represents each of the 12 tribes. And guess what? This is what the Lord says. Verse 4, number 17, 4. You shall place them in the tabernacle of meeting before the testimony where I meet with you. And it will be that the rod of the man that I choose, it will blossom. Key word. It will blossom. Thus I will rid myself of the complaints of the children of Israel, which they make against you. This is incredible. The one that I choose, that rod will blossom. And I believe God has chosen you. I said, you are the chosen and the beloved of Lord God Most High. When God chooses you, you blossom like nobody does. When God chooses you, there's an oil of distinguishing and distinction that nobody has. When God chooses you, your dead wood, your dead staff, your dead rod will begin to have resurrection life and power in it to do and work miracles. I said, God has chosen you. And the evidence of that will be made a witness by the very presence of God. So all of the 12 tribes lay out their rods in the presence of God. And guess what happens? This is so good. The Bible here says in verse 8, Now it came to pass the next day. Someone say, the next day. Are you ready for next day miracles? Are you ready for your miracle to manifest the next day? You've been waiting all along. People have contested you. You've gone through some challenges. But the next day, miracles happen. The next day. Now it came to pass on the next day that Moses went into the tabernacle of witness. And behold, the rod of Aaron of the house of Levi had sprouted and put forth buds. Someone say buds. And had produced blossoms and yielded ripe almonds. Now this is incredible. In one night, overnight, come on somebody. The spirit of acceleration, the presence of God, caused Aaron's rod to go through three stages of life. The bud, the flower blossoming, and the production of almonds. In less than seven, eight hours time, all throughout the night, tick, 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 in the presence of God, there was an, ex an acceleration to the growth of God's purpose. Have you ever felt dry like this dead stick, this dead rod, this staff? Have you ever felt dry? Have you ever felt like you were lost? If you lay yourself down in the presence of God, then God will cause you to tick, 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 to bud, blossom, and to produce fruit like never before. I declare fruit. I declare abundance. I declare the quick work of Jesus in your life. So the staff of the rod of Aaron didn't only bud, but it also blossomed flowers. And not only that, but it also produced Almonds. Now this is incredible because almonds stand for oil and it stands for the light of illumination and revelation. The Bible says Moses brought out all the rods and to the children and they all took the rods back. Isn't that incredible? So now the complaining stopped. The arguing stopped. The bickering, the fighting stopped. Why? 
Because only one person's rod had a resurrection power on it. That's why Aaron's rod, I'm sure you've heard that term, is now in the Ark of God's Covenant. And God's Ark, there's three items. Aaron's rod, which bloomed, blossomed, and had almonds, supernaturally. Uh, the Ten Commandments, the Tablets of Stone. And also the Jar of Manna. These three holy sacred elements, which all stand for God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And all manifest Jesus. This triune sacrament is in the Ark of God's Covenant. And one of them is Aaron's rod. Let me tell you why this is so important. People may bicker and argue about you. But because you walk in the presence of God, you will have accelerated growth. You will have favor. You will have miracles. Things will bud, bloom, and blossom and produce fruit in your life quicker and faster and more genuine than anybody else. Are you kidding me? What took six months for the almond to produce took six hours in the presence of God. It's easy work when you yield yourself to Jesus. It's easy work when you surrender and lay yourself flat and down in God's presence. When God chooses you, there's nothing that man can do. When God chooses you, there's nothing that no enemy, no devil can thwart. When God chooses you, you will have accelerated supernatural growth even overnight in the next day. In the next day. Some of you are busy trying to fulfill it today. But God says, lay it down and in the next day. Are you ready for your dead wood, your staff, your average regular tool, the average regular thing? Are you ready for that? To bud, bloom, and blossom and to produce fruits, almonds of revelation and illumination. People of God, God will do it. The presence of God is the difference maker. It's not our works. You see, everybody had a staff and a rod. Everybody. That stands for their own works. But when you lay it down before Jesus, He anoints it, He baptizes it, and He does something supernatural with it. I declare He's releasing the rod of Aaron over to you. You may feel dry. You may feel belittled. Maybe you're being contested and challenged by all of your other brethren and sisters in the body, in the world. But when you lay yourself down, there will be the evidential fruit and production of God's Holy Ghost. And it will not be denied. The complaints are falling to the ground. The arguing is falling to the ground. And today, God will anoint you and He will lift you up as His chosen, favored one. And it will not be disputed. It cannot be denied. I believe God is releasing supernatural growth and acceleration in your life. In Jesus' name. Let me know what blessed you from this video teaching today. And I pray that God will release the rod of Aaron over your life to bud, to blossom, and to produce almonds. Three stages overnight. God bless you.